Okay, friends, we got this countertop put in. It hasn't been easy. Everything has to be done in a specific order. But we do have some pretty plugs there and a few there just for contrast. We come down here and this seam is actually part of the original bowling alley lane. If you look closely, you can see how the majority of those timbers match. But then when you go to the actual lane, now these back here, you can see where there's a little line. That's where the carpet was. This is where you would have your carpet and it would all be anchored down. And then you would throw the ball towards the arrows. And if I remember right, it was landing in here somewhere. You can see a couple dings. Baldings, and that's what we want to keep is the richness and the history behind it. And we come down here and we've got another joint here and a little cap I had to put in there. And then one more set of arrows, which came from another section. That's the tricky part about it is these are only 10, no, 15 foot sections. So you got 15 feet, which stops right there will actually stopped in here right in there somewhere um, but for the seam to come in I put it at the corner of the sink so you wouldn't notice it now this right here oh that's sexy you just put a bunch of oil on there and let it soak in and then rub your hands across it and you can feel if you've missed any spots you get that oil and it was just olive oil is all I put in it's nothing serious but man that feels good it looks rich it brings out the color of the walnut it's just beautiful when you uh, you don't sand it all the way down you leave the blemishes in it like this right here leave that in that epoxy will go over the top of it and it'll look original but you want you want to sand it down enough to get that uh, finish off and then get these uh, get these inlays sand it down and when you oil it it just brings the wood to life makes it all happy and sexy but once that oil soaks in we have to tape everything off down below and in the sink and the hole for the faucet everything has to be taped off even in the counters in the cabinets because you got this little little spot right here see where this seams at and you might have a little epoxy drizzle down there and get down below you don't want it falling on any dishes or anything this piece right here has been done for a week I think and the oil is all soaked into the wood this whole piece right in here so it hasn't been oiled in about a week and uh, you don't want to oil it any further because if you do the epoxy may not stick you want the oil to soak in but there's gonna come a time here today sometime I'm probably gonna put alcohol on this and rub this all off once that oil has worked its way into the wood but it's going to take it a little bit of time to soak in I may even bring a heat gun over and warm it up and allow the pores to open up a little bit before we go dump an epoxy on it but it's almost ready it is almost ready it's been a painstaking process just like the front here you see how the front of the trim is stained, but the top is not. And that is all there to add to the accent and match up top and make it all pretty. So you'll get to see it as soon as I'm done. Give me a few days. Let this stuff sit and harden once it cures out. I'll put the, uh, put the spout in for the sink, put the doors on under the sink, and, and I think it'll be done then. We will see. Wish me luck.